Hey puppy, is it okay if we talk about human stuff today? Well, you don't care as long as you get your sunshine, okay. So next we're gonna talk about plant fusion, complete plant protein which here is the label for that. So for this one, this is natural flavor, but what I got from it was a mild vanilla flavor, and this one is super fine and powdery. So that means when you open this little thing up or when you open up the container that the puff comes up, like if you were to shake a bag of flour and open it up, that's basically what this means. And the weird thing was this also had a powdery taste to me, uh, same thing, kind of like a raw flour type powdery taste. And not only that, but this one tasted salty to me. I could really taste the sodium of which there are 390 milligrams. And I remember way back when, before I found raw fusion, what's weird is that this was my go-to plant-based protein powder, but that's definitely changed because it was too salty to me now. It was pretty mild flavor, so it was nothing special. It was a little pricey considering those things. Not only that, but I got the aftertaste with this, that weird umami kind of savory aftertaste about 15, 20 minutes after I was finished eating it. Positives is that it mixes thick and the texture is really good because it's kind of like a smooth thickness, which in a smoothie, it would be the same thing. But yeah, to be honest, anything that gives me that potential aftertaste, I kind of just cross off the list right away because it's it's just not good. It's like it's stuck in the back of your tongue, the back of your throat, and I could probably go through the ingredients of each of the ones that gives that kind of effect to maybe put two and two together and figure out what ingredient is in all of them that could be causing that weird aftertaste but that could maybe be a different video. The next plant-based protein powder is called Plant Powered Protein Energizing Nutrition by Ollie. And I got this one from Target. And this one is similar to the Trader Joe's when it comes to the simplicity of the ingredients because it just contains protein blend, natural cane sugar, natural flavors, salt, xanthan gum, stevia and monk fruit extract. So at first I wasn't sure how I felt about this one. When I opened up the packet and smelled it, it kind of had like a yellow cake mix type scent to it, like the Duncan Hines Red Box yellow cake mix. It kind of smelled like that, but really it was just super mild. And it also texture wise was not as grainy as the rest of them, but it also wasn't powdery. It was kind of right in the middle, which was rare and actually pretty perfect. And what's funny is when I first got this and saw the flavor, which is called Velvet Vanilla, I was like, oh, that's a little bougie, like Velvet Vanilla, what does that mean? But then when I used it, I realized they're talking about the texture because this one had my favorite texture out of all of them. It was so smooth and made my oats so creamy. I can only imagine that it's really, really good in a smoothie type thing. Now it was super mild and actually also kind of had the flavor of a mild like yellow sponge cake, but this was really delicious. I would say this might be one of the better options that ended up being one of my favorite out of all of these ones I'm gonna talk about today. Now this next one is called Owen, or I guess it stands for only what you need. And this is just, a friend gave me this. She said that her parents got it. Um, they own a gym, so maybe somebody dropped it off. Like, I don't know if this is one of those multi-level marketing things similar to Herbalife or like, Visalis or whatever. So I tried it. Um, I made sure it wasn't expired because I know it had been sitting around for a minute and the flavor is matcha tea. So to me, that was really appealing because I love me some matcha, ma matcha, I can't even say it, Japanese green tea. But let me tell you, this is pretty gross. This is the one where I got that weird aftertaste as I was still eating it, and it almost tasted a little bit stale to me, which like I said, I checked the expiration date and it was fine, it hadn't expired yet, but I mean, this was just, it, it was just gross to me. Um, when I opened the packet, it smelled promising. It smelled like green tea and a little bit of a 
berry smell to it, but flavor-wise, man, this just did not taste good. So I wouldn't recommend it. I don't know where it's from. I've never heard of the brand, but I figured I would include it in this review video because I'm sure somebody else has or they're wondering about it and if they should try it. And I would say a strong no with this one. Now, this one I actually picked up from Walmart of all places, but the brand is My Fresh Blends. And this one is the Energy Protein Booster in vanilla. And what's interesting is it actually contains caffeine. Not very much, just 10 milligrams per serving, but that's something, especially if you don't drink it very often, like me, I'm one of those caffeine sensitive people. So the ingredient list on this one is similar to the all-in-one nutritional shakes. There's a lot of stuff happening. Everything from chicory root to cinnamon, melon, mango, lentil. This just has a lot of stuff in it. Is it necessary for something like this? I really don't know. Again, I, I truly believe that depends on your current status of health or how much in whole foods you're actually eating besides a supplement like this. So taste-wise, texture-wise, this is nothing special. This is pretty average. Uh, if you want to get a feel for what plant-based protein is like, this might be an okay option but just know that it's nothing special. I probably won't be getting it again. So this next one is a sample that I got from Whole Foods, and this is the only really chocolate peanut butter one I got. I usually avoid peanut butter and peanut butter flavored things. And like I mentioned earlier, with protein powders, I tend to opt for just vanilla because if I want a cocoa one, I can make it myself with cocoa powder. But this is the only flavor they had in this brand, which is Amazing Grass. And again, this is one that calls itself an all-in-one nutrition shake. This one is a little bit higher in fat than the other ones, but again, I only think that's because it is a peanut butter flavored one, and what do peanuts mostly contain? It's fat, so it's not surprising. When I first opened this up, it smelled like a Russell Stover's box of chocolates. It's kind of like that, that chemically kind of cheapy flavored chocolate versus something that's really expensive. This one also was on the grainy side. It wasn't powdery at all. And you probably saw some of my notes when I showed you the front of it, but I literally wrote meh because it, there was just nothing special about it. There's definitely better ones out there. And honestly, if you were to just get a vanilla protein powder, get some peanut flour and a high quality cocoa powder, which I mentioned a specific one that I live for in my plant-based protein bar book, you could have something way better than this. So I would say to pass on this one. And if you just really want a chocolate peanut butter flavored protein powder, get a good vanilla one or a good natural one, and then get your cocoa powder and your peanut flour and you can make it yourself. So this next one is actually still full because I just opened it up a few days ago. This one I got from Costco. It is the Vega Organic Protein and Greens. Now with this one and with most Vega brand, the texture is great. There's no issue with the texture. It's not overly powdery. It's a little more on the grainy side, but when you, whenever you mix it into what you're eating it with or whenever you use it in a smoothie, it's really thick and creamy. So whenever I added this to my oatmeal, I always had to add some extra water or sometimes a little bit of almond milk just to get it to a good enough consistency to eat. Otherwise, it was basically just like a dough. And even though this one doesn't call itself an all-in-one nutrition shake, that's basically what it is because it has the protein and it has the greens that are added. With this one though, I noticed that I couldn't even finish it the first day, which was really strange because usually I'm hungry, but something about this protein powder, I just, I just didn't like it. It just made my oats taste a little bit bitter actually. And so I looked at the ingredients and it does have stevia extract kind of in the middle of the ingredients, which a lot of times, if not more often, the sweetener is kind of towards the end of the ingredients list, which means that they use a little bit less of it. But I almost want to say they must have used too much stevia in this because especially with stevia, if you use too much of it, especially the extract, then it lends a bitter taste, which you may have already noticed. So it was either that 
or the vanilla flavor. They use too much vanilla flavor because again, with the vanilla flavor, if you use too much, it can give that bitter kind of vanilla taste. So it, to me, it's either too much stevia or too much vanilla flavor or maybe even too much of both. But I think this is the one that is making me change my breakfast kick again because I've probably been having this for like four days now and I almost want to return this because it's just not good. I forgot to mention the flavor is creamy vanilla, but like I said, I think they either use too much vanilla or too much stevia, but something about this just is not working. Now with the regular Vega protein and green, so not the organic one, but the regular one, that one, when I opened it, it smelled like vanilla cake batter. Those are the notes that I'd written down and I remember. The regular Vega proteins and greens was also just as filling. It was thicker than the other ones. So I really think it's just the Vega brand that's thicker than the other brands and mixes into that creamy thick consistency. So that's something to consider. I would opt for the regular proteins and greens if you're gonna try this one as opposed to the organic. The flavor overall was better. It's a little bit less expensive because it's not the organic one and I could actually finish it and somewhat enjoyed it whereas the organic one as we just learned has basically just put me off to my breakfast in general. Now the last one I'm going to talk about I also don't have the little sample packet for but I did take pictures so I'll post it up and that was the Vega protein but the chai flavored one. Now this is probably my favorite out of everything I've tried in this whole batch of protein powders, but I think it's discontinued because I couldn't find it anywhere when I wanted to order the giant jug. And the only one I did find that was available was crazy expensive on Amazon. The consistency was awesome. It was really thick and really creamy. And especially in my oats, maybe it was the flavor mixed with the cinnamon, mixed with the blueberries, but it was so delicious. It was a really good solid chai flavor unlike this one, the Vegan Smart that I got off Amazon, which was incredibly mild. It was so delicious. It had just a good little chai kick to it and I imagine it would be super delicious in smoothies. I didn't have any weird aftertaste. There was no bitterness. So if you can find that one and you like more cinnamon chai flavors, I definitely suggest trying it out and maybe letting me know in the comments below where you found it because hopefully it's not discontinued. But if anything was to give, my go-to plant-based protein powder, which is Sand Nutrition's Raw Fusion. If anything was to give that a run for its money, it would either be the Vega protein in the chai flavor, or I'm gonna say it might be this Ollie plant-based protein that I found at Target, but that's also on Amazon. And this is taking into consideration the flavor, the texture, how you can doctor it up if you wanted to, and the fact that I did not get any kind of weird bitterness in my mouth or any kind of weird aftertaste with any of these protein powders. So yeah, apologies. This video was so much longer than I expected to make it. And for the lighting issues and anything else, I'm actually literally filming this as the lunar eclipse is happening, which was going completely against my plan for cleansing my soul and sitting at the beach and, and meditating and introspection for myself. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up below. And I know there are a bunch of plant-based protein powders that I have not mentioned in this video. So if you have one that's your absolute favorite that you think I should try, then please leave that in the comments below as well because I'll definitely check it out. Look who I found. It's the bubbles. Yes, I know, honey. Okay. Well, that was his cameo for today. Don't worry, because next week we will have some cat-based action happening. So remember to click that subscribe button. Again, if you are not a member of the Cat Lady Fitness family already, thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next week. Bye.